Radio Farm family, welcome back to another episode of The Farm. If you're new here, you are most welcome. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and also turn your notification bells not to miss out on any episode of The Farm. And of course to all our returning subscribers, thank you so much. Thank you for being part of this family. It's a beautiful day at The Farm. Most of you have been requesting for more pig farming videos. Today, we decided why not add another video, another episode of the pig farm video right here. And of course, from your comments in the previous video, most of you have been asking, especially for the beginner farmers, we are focusing more on the simple ways of how you can begin this project, something that you can start with and you definitely benefit from it. So the question was all about how to make profits in a simple pig farm. And of course, why not if you're starting a project like this one if you invest a lot of money in a project in a pig farm what do you expect to benefit from it to get profits to make profits from it so we are going to be discussing more about that and i have i think like 10 key points that i'm going to be discussing about and i'll be tackling them one by one i'm here by the way guys in the pig pen this is our permanent house that we have we this is i think the third house that we have had for those who have been following our journey from the beginning we started from our our temporal structure then we had the semi-permanent then we came to this permanent here so it has been growth as well so for those who are really thinking because you're seeing such a huge structure it's going to be very difficult for you to start we are starting with the basics and we are here to advise you on how to start in a simple way in something that you can have little money but also start something for yourself so what is the first point that you have to put in your mind start small but think big that is the major thing that you need to really understand about all these projects here whenever you're starting whenever you want to really make profits from your farm make sure that you start with a few animals then you can definitely expand then you understand your animals very well know how to manage them so that you can make profits out of them because you cannot make profits if you don't know how to manage your animals you don't know how to feed them you don't know how to take care of them you don't know how to house them so those are different kinds of aspects that you need to really consider and put in your mind for you to make profits then of course with the i know we've mentioned this in previous videos as well but for you to make profits make sure that you invest in premium genetics premium breeds that you have at the farm i want to take you guys right here so that you can see what i'm talking about so that you can have an idea of what is going to really help you make profits and make money from this project right here so let me take you guys inside so that i can show you i have these ladies here some of our winners that we put in this pen that i want to show you guys these ones right here these are some of the winners that we have these ones are three months old and we win them already they're ready to be going to other farms by the way so this we have some males and some very good females right here but if you see the body score of these females at three months just so nice this is what you need for your farm and this is what you need to get better quality pigs pigs that really grow faster and very lean no one wants pigs that are going to give them a lot of fat all which by the slaughter time they are not lean at all you need pigs that are going to give you enough meat enough carcass weight that is going to get you more money so investing in such is going to help you so much my best advice for you is to always go to a farm that is reputable that you trust so that you can be able to source such breeds as you can see right here because for those who want to go start to finish you can definitely grow this by the time they reach like five months they're ready for slaughter if in case you want to really have a breeding program at your farm and only breed this is going to really help you so much so these breeds are cambras and of course we have here the f1s which is really an advantage to most farmers who have really bought animals from us because most of them really come and also call me back after they take the animals oh my god tina i really appreciate you guys so much for giving us such pigs the breeds are amazing i think i had some pigs before at my farm and they weren't performing so well i don't know what i was not doing right but the beauty is when you buy pigs from us at least we give you all the ways on how you can take care of such pigs right here another thing that you need to focus 
on to make profit is the feed success. How successful are you going to be to make profits if you're not feeding your pigs properly, if they're not eating a balanced diet. So these pigs here, right here, in case you feed them very well, you feed them on time, you are going to benefit from them because they're going to grow faster. If they have enough water, they're going to grow faster. If the diet is balanced, if you're not just giving them leftover feeds, you're going to definitely get more carcass weight or lean pigs from such production right here so make sure you have the right formulas for your pigs you have the right quantity and quality of feeds that you're going to give this where you're going to source your feed also matters make sure that you get feeds that are not are not contaminated at all you have to make sure that the source that you're sourcing from is very clean and they know what they are doing you don't have to just go randomly somewhere then you just pick up the feeds and you give to your animals they can even cause diseases diseases are transferred even through feeds that is what you have to know so be careful with the diet with the what you feed your, your pigs with so that you can be able to get weight that is going to really help them so much another point is about disease prevention prevention is better than cure as long as you make sure that your pigs are healthy, in case you really know that, you know what, you can always invite a vet to always monitor your pigs to make sure that, you know, they are healthy, they have a very clean environment. Such things, that such small, small things are the ones that really help you not to have your pigs here get diseases so make sure that at least you do your best as a person to take care of the pigs so that they don't get diseases because you know what you're going to spend so much money in case these pigs get diseases to treat them getting the medication and all that make sure that your vaccination schedule is really followed all the procedures all the things that you need to do to make these animals very healthy as for you to make profits Another thing that you need to consider is about good housing. For you to really make profits on, on a very simple scale, make sure that your housing that you have put for these pigs is good enough, it's comfortable. Comfortability is key. I've really talked about this over and over, even in the previous video, we've talked about it. For you to have these pigs live a healthy lifestyle or a healthy living at your farm, they should have enough space. They should be, you know, having the fresh air in their pens as well. Another thing I needed to also to talk about for someone to make profits from these pigs is about record keeping. I know most of you really ignore this bit of it, but record keeping is very, very key in your production in pig farming. This will help you to know the source and the boars that are really great in reproduction. So record keeping is really good for your expenses and also for your income. So make sure you do that so that you know how your breeding program is going to be like and how it is going to benefit you in the long run. The ones that do not really grow to your expectations, just let them away. Just take them for slaughter. The ones you want to put in your breeding program, leave them at your farm so that you can make profit, so that they can give you healthy and very good piglets. You can sell piglets. If your piglets are healthy enough, you can definitely make money through them. And then of course, if you're in case you're into value addition, I know this is something that most of you do not also think about, but value addition is very important. Make sure that you can process these animals as well and you can earn more through value addition in pig farming another point is market strategically yes that is something that this is how you're going to make profits in a very simple pig farm i know most of you have been asking me some of you have really called me tina where do you guys sell your pigs where can i get market for my pigs i have pigs at the farm but i don't know where to sell them be strategic look at the local and international market but what are you looking at for now you're looking as a simple farmer look at your local market right now look at your area where you are the butchers that are available these are the people that you can also contact and you definitely sell to them these pigs or open up your own butcher shop that is something that is very important another thing that something that is very important in piggery or pig farming for you to make profits having your own butcher is going to benefit you so much because you're not go you're going to cut away all the middlemen 
you're going to have your pigs from your farm to your butcher and you're going to have all these profits and it's going to really benefit you a lot it is very very important be strategic know that i have my farm right here i can open up my little butcher shop somewhere strategically where people love the pork in uganda most people really love pork so much and they eat it a lot that is going to help you so much in a busy area you can even open up your joints your pork little joints in strategic areas where people can easily access and know you with time you will not even have enough to supply for yourself but that is what is really very strategic on how you can make profits in a simple pig farm then let's look at like the international market there are so many expatriates coming into our countries right here look at them look at the supermarkets how are you going to supply different cuts expatriates really love like different cuts of you know pork like they want the pork shoulder, pork what, pork neck, something like that, different cuts, because most of them may not have access to go to a local pork joint or local butcher shop to buy pork, but the most especially go to supermarkets to purchase pork. That can also help you make even more profits because you know what, that is an international market even within your country and also of course with time you look at the international market whereby you can be able to export all the products that you have at your farm so that is a way how you can be strategic when you're really doing this pig farm business it is very very important another point is also seeking expert advice guys i must tell you what I think I have to repeat this over and over and again and in different videos I've talked about it. Guys, if you go to people who know about something, seek information, learn from them, visit other farms because when, when someone has experience in something, there are some things that you may not know about as a beginner farmer but with an experienced person who has been in this field for a long period of time has a better experience has a better way of how they can definitely help you so i would really advise you that at least if you seek such expert advice from people who have done farming before or pig farming before it's going to be very helpful to you and it's going to guide you so so much that is very very important then also invest in innovation Things like automatic drinkers right here is going to save you a lot of money and a lot of cost at the farm and also labor. Because if you have like drinkers like these ones, guys, it is going to save you like workers carrying water all the time to feed. If you have like only 50, uh, maybe like 10 pigs at your farm and you have like two workers, that is enough for you to have because you already have already have like automatic nipple drinkers they will not be able to stop because they don't have enough water they will always have water right here sometimes workers can be very lazy to really carry water all the time to put for your animals embrace technology guys this is very important and it's very helpful at your farm then also another point i need to really address about how you can really benefit from pig farming being persistent and patient guys with an investment that you've started it's a long-term investment such is a long-term investment so you have to be patient you face challenges challenges are everywhere guys we also face challenges at the farm we come here to tell you guys all our challenges that we have at the farm which we also share with you guys but with time with the experience you will become better so please, patience and persistence will lead you to greater heights. Happy pig farming and prosperous investment, guys. This is what I had for you today. These ones are now starting to play around, yet they've been very disciplined. But anyways, we have to conclude this video. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've had your pen and paper and you've noted something and you've learned something from this video. I appreciate each one of you who has been watching up to this point. Please share these videos. Please give us a like subscribe and also share with all your friends but of course before you do that you can also please check out our social media platforms we have instagram that is value farm ug tiktok value farm facebook is also value farm go see behind the scenes and also learn something really appreciate you guys so much till next time bye